All right, riddle me this. If XRP and Ripple and the whole BRICS thing is not gonna be the future, the dollar's always gonna be the king, Lou. Why is it that 19 other countries put in applications to join the BRICS? The BRICS does not operate on SWIFT or QUANT. That's XRP Ripple. That's XM, that's XLM. That's, that's the Stellar Network, that's all that. If it's nothing, why is it that at the end of the day, all these countries around the world see it as their financial future, freedom, safety net, everything? Think about that one. I'm going to tell you something right here. You think I'm trying to make you rich. Yes, I am. That's not a bad thing. That's a good thing from the bottom of my heart. But you think I'm trying to make you rich so you can go buy Lambos and, you know, do summer vacations in Monaco. Nah, that's not what I'm trying to do. Let me tell you something. My big heart has been around a lot of dark shit in the world. And those, that dark shit, that, those dark people, they're still out there. And let me tell you something about that. Those people, they want to end your life. They want to end everything about you. They want to end the way that you exist. Becoming rich maybe in the future just being able to afford food have home be safe being able to buy medical care stuff like that for your family being rich may be just being normal because they're looking to reset money across the board people are not these countries are not joining the BRICS because you know it's like for no no reason they're joining because everybody knows everybody knows that they're gonna reset all the financial they're gonna reset all the financial instruments in the world. Do you understand? So you look at cash, what are they gonna to do to that? You, you look at, you know, right now, the, the investment tools of the middle class and upper middle class, like the 401ks, the pensions, you know, you know, the, the you know, putting money out in your home to get the equity, all that's gonna be gone. That's all gonna be gone. They're gonna decimate everything. People are like, no, they're not. Yeah, yes they are. <laughs> you don't understand. If everything is tied to Wall Street and Wall Street is going to collapse and Wall Street is moving into this crypto world, that means that your 401k and pension is going to disappear. It's going to go bye-bye. Okay, the equity in your home is tied to a mortgage, which is tied to a mortgage bond, which is also going to be downgraded and disappeared when everybody starts dumping. And mass dumping is about to start happening. So what, are you, what, are your, what is your life going to be? You work for a good company that has stocks on Wall Street. Those stocks drop, guess what? They start laying people off. People don't get it. I am trying to point people in a direction. They can make a lot of money so they can solve their life problems so they can get ready for what the evil people are gonna try to do to us because they're already doing it to us. If you don't believe me, take a look at what's going on in France. Remember two years ago, I said that France was gonna be in civil war? Remember the Euro? I said that at the end of the day, they're gonna collapse short the Euro? I, I've been saying this for the longest time. What's happening now is a changeover. That there's nothing you can do about it. You look at, you know, like gold, silver, certain cryptos. These things are what's going to help you. It's like a lifeboat. Get to the other side. Okay, the ship is going down. Everything that you see, everything that you know, everything is going down. This is just helping you get to the other side. The one percent of the, of the of the elite. What do you think they're doing? What do you think they're doing? They're going to ground as well. They're putting their money outside of this system. They're going to the other side. I know this might be a lot for people to understand, but, you know, think about it. Think about it like this. You don't have a life preserver right now. You don't. Job is not a life preserver. Uh, an investment in Wall Street is not a life preserver. You know, hanging on to the value of your home is not a life preserver. Um, that degree on the wall, that's not a life preserver. Like you guys are gonna need something that when everything falls down has worth on the other side. That could be gold, that could be silver, it could be land, that could be all that kind of stuff. But please understand something. The reason I'm pointing to XRP is because it's going to have XRP, XLM and the coins I'm talking about, but mostly that one, okay? It's gonna have a massive jump that's gonna create liquidity for you in order for you to do the other things that you have to do. So maybe you say, no, I don't believe in any of that stuff. Only gold and silver. Okay, great. How much gold and silver do you have? Do you understand? I'm trying to get you to something that can give you more money so you can do the other something to help you with your plans. Remember, 
If more countries are signing on to be a BRICS member, that means they're gonna be on the BRICS financial network, which is XRP and Ripple. That means that the United States, Canada, um, let's face it, a lot of part of the EU, you know, Australia. I mean, a lot of countries at the end of the day are gonna be like left. You don't wanna be a part of that. And by the way, we're all gonna be a part of it. Everybody's gonna experience this. I am just telling you something now. I see a method of making a lot of money in order to take that money and use it to solve other problems, okay? See, the problem with AMC, if you look back, how many times was I saying they can't let this happen? They can't allow this to happen. You have the, the big banks on the other side, the people on the other side, them, okay? You have to understand, I said that. Now, this is totally different. See, because they need this to go up. They want this to go up. They have to have this to go up. So you understand, I'm converting you into them. It's a totally big difference. I'm telling you to do what they're doing. I'm not telling you to fight them. That's going to come later. I'm telling you to do what they're doing.